Hi, welcome to Wigan with Christy. I'm Christy. Today I'm bringing you a review of Linux by Renee of Paris and the color Plumberry Jam LR. Let's go ahead and dive into this review. I've been wanting Linux since one, the moment it came out. I had Layla from the collection and I loved Layla, um, but I really wanted to try Linux. And so finally I got Linux. I had been wanting the Plumberry Jam color in the Angelica for a long time, but I'd never taken the plunge and got her. And really to me, Linux is a lot like Angelica, which I'll kind of explain to you, even though I've not had an Angelica, but I can notice some similarities with it and I am so excited. Um, she's just gold hair. I've been wanting this for like two years, two years. And I'll probably put a picture right here. Literally almost two years ago, I actually did a review just over two years ago of Plumberry Jam in Ivana Mono, okay, from Amore. And she was really cute. I think I had to get like two. I sent back one because it wasn't like that curly. And then like I all the pictures I had seen. Anyway, you can check out that review for those details. But I had had the Plumberry Jam. And then I had had the Plumberry Jam in Cheyenne that I ordered myself. And it looked, the color just didn't look right. Um, it was cute, but I guess that was the color on all the Cheyennes. So, um, they like sent down another one, I think, but it still was like more muted. Um, this is not muted. I love it. It's perfect. It's exactly what I wanted. So I've just been dying for the long, beautiful Plumberry Jam. In fact, my husband put like a fuchsia wig in the cart on Amazon. I was like, oh, hold up. I ain't doing an Amazon wig for a color like this. I can get me this and um so i just love this uh, i want to thank andrea from wig studio one for sending me this wig because it's just beautiful 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 all like my hair dreams come true um but so the reason why i think that it's a lot like angelica angelica does have more layers so which i'll go over the measurements with lennox here soon but it kind of has that long wave right um, because the pictures of Linux almost make Linux look like she's straight. Um, and she's definitely not. She has some like just loose tassels in her, uh, which the pictures I've seen of Linux looks like it's straight solid. So that is a little bit different than if you're looking at one of the pictures of the models, you might be expecting a super straight Linux, but it isn't. Um, at least this one isn't, and I've seen a couple other reviews that it's kind of been a little bit on the wavy side. Uh, so just kind of know that. It also doesn't have the shorter layers that Angelica has. And I'm gonna go over her measurements here and let's talk about them. Front is a 13 inch front, which I think Angelica is shorter. I think it has a shorter layer. The crown is 18 inches. The nape is 16 and a half inches, and this wig weighs 6.38 ounces. Now, I don't feel like it feels that heavy. It doesn't feel that heavy. Maybe because I've been wearing a lot of um, longer wigs lately, and so I'm just not used to, I'm, I'm used to the weight, I guess you could say. But it doesn't feel that heavy. Uh, for permatease, I really, there is some back here, very lightly though. Not bad, but there I can feel some if I dig my hands into it, but it needs that for this length of a wig, okay? Uh, nothing on top. And really at the crown, really there's nothing either. Let's go ahead and uncrisscross this. It has a center part, okay? You definitely have room if you want to go to the right or to the left. Now remember with these long wigs, 
You want to use a wide tooth comb on them often. Keep a wide tooth comb in your purse at all times. Start from the bottom, work your way up. So it just kind of softens that up a little bit. But definitely want to watch those ends. I've been wearing a lot of human hair lately, but with the winter coming, it's great to wear those synthetic pieces. So I got to get in the habit of it. It has some shedding. I did have some shedding the other day when I opened her up, but kind of typical for these wigs. Um, yeah, it does have quite a bit of shedding. I just cleaned my floors. So you can um, heat press this. Doesn't she feel? Look awesome. Let's go ahead and do a spin. First, I want to talk to you about this Plumberry Jam color. And it's the long root, so as you can see, it kind of gradually goes into that plum color, but it definitely has that long root, almost like a really grown in or an ombre um, coloring. So not just like boom, there you go, but it's done very nicely. It's a gradual in there. So let me give you the color description. So it's a medium plum with dark roots, with mix of red and fuchsia, with long dark roots. So let me see. See how you can get in there and you can see those fuchsia colors, the different, you can see almost like a purple, yeah. It's, phenomenal color. I just love it. It's so gorgeous. And this purple in it pops with just the right lighting. You can see even here in the nape, the coloring. Let's go ahead and look inside the cap. So it's a temple to temple lace front, really nice wide lace front and really deep there. And it's a center part, okay? Good stretch, velvet felt ear tabs, extended velvet uh, nape, uh, still the pull adjusters, okay? But great stretch to it. Fits really well, like a normal um, Rene of Paris uh, fit. So if you see my Julie review, that's a little bit tighter than a, Rene of a normal Rene of Paris. This is a regular Rene of Paris fit for me. Has feathered ends down here. So just kind of feathered with the layers and they've kind of flipped out with the curls. And it's layered, but not as layered as the Angelica. And it's part of the 2020, I believe it was spring, early winter um, collection, high fashion collection with Rene of Paris. It was early 2020, I believe, when we got these, or when these came out. Let's go ahead and do some styling.
I love it. Um, I think I'm gonna be wearing this a lot for fall and winter. And you know, I, when I showed her to you outside, I didn't have any makeup on. So you can kind of see how this color looks with no makeup on, um, because it is a very dynamic, you know, look. The knotting is a little darker, right? Because it is a darker color. Um, so definitely, I feel more confident in this color when I have makeup on, if that makes sense. Um, so, I mean, it's because of my skin tone, it's easier, like I need to have the makeup on <laughs> with this dark of hair. Um, but it's so pretty and I'm so glad I got her. So down below in my description of this video is my Instagram. I'd love to connect with you over there if you wanna come follow me on Instagram. Also, I'm gonna link wigstudio1.com. Uh, they're amazing over there and you can order this wig with them. There's actually, I, last I looked, there was like, like last I heard there was a lot of in stock of this color and in other colors that Lennox has. Lennox is a great wig. I really, really like her and I think I'm gonna be wearing her a lot. So let me know what you think. If you've tried Linux, what have you thought about it? Are you gonna maybe try this wig? Are you brave enough to try the color? I know it's not everybody's cup of tea and that's fine, but um, I was really excited to, to have this color finally in a long piece. So anyways, hope you guys have a great day. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to shine bright, love others, and be kind. See you next time, bye.